I'm here at the MCC Fashion Show where students will be modeling clothes from the Salvation Army. We love the way the dress shirt pulls out the pink stripe in this classic muted gray clad Austin green suit. Give us a slow spin, Kevin, to capture your whole look. The students from uh, Miss Wilson's class came down and also working with Connie Gardelin and uh, they selected outfits, various items from our clothing store to model here today at no charge. This casual outfit features a brown and ivory lace cami with a pair of flattering denim capris. If the weather turns chilly, she can always warm up with this Reese's dress hoodie. My job here on campus is I'm a coordinator of service learning and that involves several different projects that we have throughout the year and this spring we're doing a spring fashion show highlighting the Salvation Army thrift store. Um, Salvation Army is one of our partners with um, service learning and so we took students and faculty down to the Salvation Army, had them pick out some outfits that they would maybe go and purchase there, bring them back and we're going to have a model those today. Um, everything that you see can be purchased at the Salvation Army and the most expensive outfit we found was under $20. This shocking cowboy look starts out with the red, white, and black lightning motif button-down shirt. The tight wranglers and classic black cowboy boots are topped off with the authentic belt buckle and cowboy hat. Let's all shout out to Matt with the big yeehaw! Well, there are absolutely benefits for both Salvation Army as well as the students. The Salvation Army comes out, they're going to tell us about their involvement in the community, and they're going to tell them about the thrift store. Um, we're a green campus, so we're trying to, you know, promote green, green projects on our campus. So uh, with the recycling of clothes, it's a benefit for the environment as well as uh, the students get 10% off on Tuesday so they can go in and show them their MCC ID and get 10% off of all of their purchases. Our lovely blushing bride is wearing a gorgeous beaded wedding gown with matching veil. Doesn't she look stunning? The nervous groom is sweating it out in a single button black tuxedo with coordinating deep burgundy dress shirts. Uh, I think it is very, very important because people like me, I'm kind of picky in terms of picking clothes and stuff like that. So when I got the opportunity, you know, to go to Salvation Army and then look at their stuffs, I find out that they have really good stuff, which I was able to pick out and to show to the other people. It's like I'm doing marketing for Salvation Army, so and I'm glad to do that. Um, yeah, I really liked it. I liked it because it shows other people that you don't have to always spend a lot of money on something for it to look good, and that you can definitely be more creative than what you see in the storefronts. Professor Monroe is ready to board the plane headed for the Caribbean. Dressed in his burnt orange button-down short sleeve shirt and cargo shorts, the straw hat is sure to protect him from those intense tropical rays. Oops, Professor, don't forget your sunblock. SPF 50. That's it from the MCC Fashion Show. I'm Jessica Brown reporting for Met 12. Christopher Stout is not your average MCC pitcher. There's something that separates him from the rest of the staff. You may notice it in the sound of his voice. This shifty right-hander has a classic southern draw. Born in Alabama, raised in Florida, this tiger has found himself a home on the mound. Stout, a.k.a. the Alabama Slamma, has settled in as the tiger's closer. Well, it, it depends on the whole situation, I, I reckon. It's depending on if I come in with the bases, someone on base or bases cleared. There's people on base I focus on trying to keep the runner where he is and uh, mainly just focus on the pitch at hand. The Alabama Slamma, as they call him, has acquired numerous nicknames with his success on the mound. Oh, first of all, uh, I like to call him the Bama Slamma. He is from Alabama, as we all know, and Alabama Slamma makes totally sense. Uh, there is the Lights Out Stout, which is pretty cool. Uh, and the one that seems to be catching on a lot lately is the end, 
and that's simply because every time he comes in, the game's over. Stout has a love for the Alabama Crimson Tide and is not afraid to show it. His entire room is decked out with Alabama memorabilia. Well, um, for each game I take, I usually take three pieces of bubble gum and put it in my left pocket. About the fifth inning, when it's getting close to my time to warm up, I'll take one piece and I'll chew on it and stick it in my right pocket. I got it, and then, I got it. Uh, depending on how I feel in the bullpen, if I ain't feeling it, then I, I switch the gum out, a different piece, and then I just go through it. I try to go through the same routine in the bullpen each day and then before I go on a pitch. MCC is lucky to have found a closer. Chris has one more year at MCC and then is planning on attending the University of Alabama. Reporting for Met 12, this is Scott Lane.